Hello you guys, welcome back to my channel. Itomotor is a very important component, especially in winter. Patrick's Garage Heater motor consists of uh, three main parts. Volvo heater, our topic for today. In upper part, motor. OEM, Electrolux. In middle part, cell system, so-called uh, mini radiator. Cell system, we see in this picture. In lower part, shutters housing. Also can clearly see in this picture which directs air flows into current area. Here we see blue arrows shows outside air, then it goes to the heater, and then uh, from the shutter's box it directs to the current area. Before replacing the motor, we need to make sure that the motor wrong. Because process of replacing is not so enjoyable as maybe someone think. Before removing the motor, check the uh, switch of heater first. It's easy. Maybe you not need to replace the motor. So check that the motor gets uh, enough voltage. And make sure that uh, all wires are uh, hooked correctly. For us auto enthusiasts, not secret that the heater hidden under the dashboard. My messy gloves box must be disattached to get access to the heater. It fitted with two bolts and these bushings are very important. Without these bushings, gloves box very often opened on the bed road. Frame of gloves box broken. And now we get good working access and look under the dashboard. What inside? We look here with help of cell phone only. And we see our heater. A lot of wires. And uh, also we need to open a central console. These two rotated plastic screws, two plastic locks, and steel clips for touching under the plastic trim. Disconnect air hoses for convenient work. Very good that central console can be goes through the lower plastic trim. This win for us. Otherwise, we would be disconnect these wires. And for take out upper part with motor, I want to uh, lift back the lower part of heater. Lower securing bolts, airways for rear passengers, also disconnected. One central screw and two side screws. And small wire was connected them together. Steel clips. Fixed upper part with motor and of course lower part with shutters. And soon we'll be able to take out upper part with motor. Disconnect wires again. Be very careful with copper tube, sensitive tube for the heater valve. And now we take out our motor. Let's look to the switch. It also not work perfectly without relay. Now we can look more closely to our heater, what inside. Now chance to clean it a little. Even remnants of paint, old paint. Let's look at our motors. This is original Electrolux motor. 
we can see how it rotates and uh, bushings oh, in which condition one of them as you see i cleaned and one of them dirty rubber ring for sealing all of them rotates good enough in lower side two screws for securing motor three wires black for ground red and green for different two speeds let's open the casing and look at the our beautiful motors one of them little burnt inside i cleaned gaps between the contacts on the rotor now i can find carbon brush on sale in near future they will be replaced of course carbon brush on electric motors wears out with the edge dirt may be clean with vacuum cleaner yes this is original heater motor made by electrolux made in sweden we check our all motors take best of them and let's go to install it container from eggs very helpful for all sorts of attachments first of all we take a chance to clean our radiator of heater and as you can understand i do that way because i don't want to drain the coolant and now we can install our heater motor not forget about cylinder ring of course steel attaching clips for upper part and lower clips we need to install all of them in its correct places holder for holes not our touch these screws these screws goes with rubber bushings and half inch bolts for side brackets still side brackets only these two bolts from passenger side was then unscrewed. switch on the dashboard fuses plate with two screws uh, horses air horses plastic horses this added horses this uh, was uh, passenger side and we go to the driver side here also we need to connect air horses and steel holder for plastic air hose just bend it uh, around the hose i'm not exactly sure why this motor not works correctly and as you see the process of motor replacing is not so easy and maybe you interesting about heater motor from volvo one 20 series and right here in this picture we see a lot of differs the motor not interchangeable with other volvo models take a notice that a heater switch works without relay and sometimes goes out even 240 series without relay heater motor is very powerful Heater motor from 240 series, heater motor for standard heating system, 240 series. You can notice that with three speeds. Of course, I have no 240 series, but I can find this information from books or maybe online. Today we replaced heater motor, and uh, you know it's not so humongously insane job. How to use a fan switch? with picture i added after electrolux is a good motor there is no arguing that we really can't argue against that but on the other hand it's not available now sadly it's incredibly quietness motor 
Maybe you remember my last video about door hinges. I must say door hinges, not leaks. The sealant works very well. As you see, sealant completely dry and not so ugly looking and not leaks. Thank you so much for your time. Bye for now.